In this video, I will be walking you through the steps of doing a housekeeping protein validation. So I'm going to click on Create New Experiment in a project that we already have open. And then under Quantitative Western Blot, uh, I'm going to click on Housekeeping Protein Validation. And you can either do this using the total protein stain, such as the Revert 700 or 520 if you have the Odyssey M. Uh, or you can just do uh, compare bands uh, within a one or two color image. So uh, the images that I'm going to be using right now are for compare bands. Uh, the only difference if you have the uh, total protein stain is that you would import that other scan and use that for comparison. So I'm going to open up my image gallery right here and go down to the, the image that I need. And I need both colors from this particular image, so I'm going to select that one. And then I'm also going to add the companion image uh, from that same scan. So th this is uh, actin and COX-4 are my two antibodies that I'm testing right here. Um, and then we also have uh, the Odyssey loading indicator at uh, 28 kilodaltons. Click Next. And so then in the 800 channel, uh, I will say the Odyssey loading indicator, 28 kilodaltons. And then in the 700 channel, I have actin. And then I also, since I have two proteins that I'm going to be quantifying, I click on the Add the Protein to this channel and say COX-4. And then click Next. Uh, so I'm going to uh, set up my boundaries for uh, doing my band finding. And it does do automatic or does attempt to do automatic band finding. Uh, if you find that the auto uh, lane finding does not work for you, go ahead and click on manual right here. And then you can adjust the boundary, uh, the number of lanes, uh, the position of the lanes, uh, even uh, you can angle the lanes a little bit if you need to as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to auto uh, and so what you are looking for is that the, the line is going through the middle of the lane. Click Next. Uh, then uh, we have some replicates on here. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, those uh, four lanes are all the same replicates. Click those and then link those together. And then if need be, you can give them a, a treatment name or um, you know any, anything that you want that uh, indicates what you have done for those uh, replicates. You can add that or just go with the default settings. So in lane one right here, uh, we have the molecular weight marker. And then uh, the rest of these are all samples. Uh, but if you have a lane that is um, uh, either, you know you can designate it as your positive or negative sample. Um, and you can also add uh, treatments, uh, amount, concentration, dose. Um, it, you can have, add another label to that if you would like to. Uh, and then your units can also be in micrograms, picograms, nanograms, microliters, or percentage. And you can also add a, a different label on there if you would like. So um, I'm just going to say that uh, this is my um, negative control. And so this has 0% treatment. And these, these are samples at 50% and 100%. And then click Next. Uh, we're going to assign the molecular weight marker. So here in the 700 channel, I'm going to go with the Chameleon Duo 700. And I'm going to add the bands on here. I'm going to click Done, and then in the 800 channel, I will do the same operation, the Chameleon uh, 800, click Add, and then Done. So if you have a different molecular weight marker uh, that is not from Lycor, you can click on New and add all of the molecular weights uh, from that particular marker. Or if you, you can also click on Information and uh, you can uh, delete values on here if you would like. Uh, it, you know, let's say, for instance, the 260 kilodalton was not resolved on your band and you're not seeing it. You can remove that 
and then save that as a new marker uh, for later use. So quantification, here in my, uh, for my Odyssey loading indicator, I'm gonna click on Find Bands and position that line as best you can. And then uh, if, if it needs any manual adjustments, you can click on the individual band markers and uh, make the, those adjustments as, as needed. So then in the, uh, for the, in the 700 channel, for my Acton, I, I do the same operation. I click Find Bands again. And then those are added on there. And then if I click on uh, for the Cox 4, click Find Bands and do the same operation again. And so once you've completed all that, go ahead and click on Next. And uh, it will uh, create some charts on here. Uh, this one is for the Odyssey loading indicator. This one is for the Cox 4 and Acton. So you can see right here that maybe Acton was not the appropriate uh, housekeeping protein uh, for this particular uh, treatment. Um, so you have all of that uh, right there. You, you have the chart title. I'm going to say Ollie and then also Acton Cox 4. And then if you click on next, it then takes you to the uh, review and reports. And so it gives you the images and then all of the quantification data on here. Now, since we did have replicates, it will average them together and give you standard deviations and CV values on here. Uh, and as, as we continue to scroll down, it gives you the charts and then images for uh, each one of the uh, proteins that was quantified. And again, it gives you the, the replicate group um, and uh, that and then for the Cox 4 and it gives you the graphs and then the composite image at the end. Also down here you can add your experimental observations, next steps, and summaries. You can create a PDF report that will give, uh, create a PDF file uh, of this entire uh, report right here. You can click on experiment file to export this out and uh, take it to another computer uh, for further analysis if need be. Thank you.